Alright, Hooky, another another weekend, another conference series. This time it's UC Irvine back at home. Let's not make any mistake about it. This is a this is a rivalry weekend. How big is this weekend for you guys? You know, every weekend's big, but when you play your uh, brother in Orange County, it probably gets a little bigger. Nobody wants to lose to each other, so um, it, it's it's gonna be a challenge. No doubt, obviously. Every team in the Big West right now has has their own story, has their ups and their downs. Uh, Irvine's kind of been scuffling of late, which means they're probably that much hungrier to come in and get a win. Um, obviously lost two out of three last weekend in Cal Poly, only the second series loss, first in conference play, Big West play. Uh, how, how big is this series and what, what do you guys have to do to get the momentum back? Well, we got to come out tomorrow night and just have Connor give us a solid start, um, you know, and we played offense pretty good and we're swinging the bats pretty good and go up and just, you know, give us a solid start and and uh, take good quality at bats and, and things should work out okay for us. Now, I know it's something you always preach. It's all about it's all about you guys. It's not necessarily about the opponent all the time, but what, what's something that UCI does really well that you'll be looking out for? Um, they play the game good. I mean, they, they can bunt, they can run, they can hit and run, they can slash. There, there's a lot of different things um, that they do. And then, you know, they got that big bopper right in the middle of their lineup, who's one of the best hitters in the country. Um, so, you know, you got to try to keep the bases clean when, when he's going to come up to the plate. And, you know, and hopefully he doesn't get any bops against us. But, you know, he, he's going to get his hits and he's going to do his things. And, you know, we'll just try to make sure that we – we pitch everybody the, the right way and make plays on defense and, and just try to limit things is what we want to do. Now, obviously, way back before the season started, I know you and I talked talked about and you called it. You said, you know what, I think this team is going to be pretty good offensively, at least compared to the teams in years past. You had a good feeling, and now it's kind of coming to fruition. What, what, what's, what's working with the bats right now? Well, I mean, they're just taking good at-bats. They're a lot more confident in what they're doing. They, they've got a good understanding of what we want them to do. Um, you know, Timmy Richards is, is really starting to come along, and Persinger's starting to heat up. And um, everybody else just does their job. Hedgy had a good weekend last weekend. So, you know, they, they've been pretty consistent. And that's all we want to do is just have consistency and not have too many highs and too many lows. And right now we're handling that pretty good. You talk about last weekend, obviously you don't want to harp on it too much, but what, what was kind of the main message to the team after last weekend? Well, we got to get things stopped. I mean, second inning alone last week, we gave up 17 runs in the second inning. Um, of uh, four ball games, and that's too many runs to give up. You know, let, let's take those fours, fives, and sixes and, and make them ones or twos. If we do that, then we'd have a chance to win every game last week, but we didn't, and we can't dwell on it, and so we're just going to move on to the next game. Titans, Ant Eaters, this weekend at Goodwin Field, always a fun series. Friday at 7, Saturday at 7, Sunday at 1, actually Saturday on ESPNU, but don't watch it on TV. Get out to the ballpark. Should be a good series. Coach, thanks for taking the time. Thank you.